incremental ingestion itself is a huge topic there are uh, so many ways you can do incremental ingestion there are so many tools in market which uh, allows you to implement incremental ingestion from source and bring it to your uh, storage right uh, but if you look at this uh, kind of architecture what they they are saying is you can use some tools for streaming some external tool for uh, data ingestion from these sources idea is that you bring data from your external sources using some uh, specialized tools that are designed for these uh, ingestions but what they will do they will bring data and ultimately the recommendation is to bring it in your storage your internal storage layer right right so even from kafka if you are or from other kind of streaming sources if you are ingesting data it is always recommended to build your raw layer raw data layer and uh, put your data into uh, some raw storage layer so you have a true copy of your data which is unmodified as it is uh, how it was uh, received from the source system or collected from the source system that is always always the case right you you don't want uh, to collect data in a streaming source and process it and then don't keep uh, your uh, source data anywhere if you have to reprocess something uh, again you will again go back and hit your uh, sources and bring data once again so or you have made your application has made some uh, error in the calculation or you are upgrading your uh, logic adding some some more uh, uh, logic to for the data processing and you want to do reprocessing of the data then you don't have to go back and ask your uh, ingestion team or ingestion tool to uh, reingest everything so end of the day every lake house will land data in some internal storage which we call either a staging layer or uh, your uh, uh, temporary landing zone or your raw format uh, layer right so think about it your in re real time data is coming and sitting here continuously right your as uh, this data uh, your batch data is also coming maybe every hour or maybe every day or every uh, uh 15 minutes or whatever and sitting here in continuously uh, in form of file now for your uh, rest of the processing if this is your source right this is your source suppose this is your source for the next level of processing this data is going for processing you have to implement incremental ingestion in this pipeline right in this arrow your incremental your azure data factory is also implementing incremental ingestion when ingesting data from the external sources right they implement incremental ingestion that is separate that is done but from your landing zone or from your raw data where you continuously keep creating data files you have to again implement a uh, incremental ingestion from here right so in most of uh, these architectures within the lake from your raw storage or from your uh, lake storage you have to implement incremental ingestion that there is no other option even if you are using some external tools for in implementing in uh, incremental ingestion from source so incremental ingestion is implemented twice most of the time it is implemented once for collecting data from the real source original source and then again it is implemented here to continuously process your uh, incremental data from your landing zone right so that's what we are talking here <clears throat> incremental ingestion or incremental uh, load and that when we say incremental load that means you are collecting data here and then you want to load it into your maybe bronze layer in delta format how that incremental ingestion can be implemented you can again use uh, azure data factory here right uh, one more pipeline you can build from your raw to 
delta for your bronze table using data azure data factory but what databricks offers what tools databricks offers uh, for implementing incremental ingestion at this layer right at this uh, stage there are two commonly used tools in databricks one is called copy into it's just a simple sql command or you can implement it using data frame uh, api also and then the second tool is called autoloader 